So this is really messed up. This is something you should never do to somebody else. The person in this video had a problem with an order in which they decide to blast the Instacart driver with her picture and name. That's not okay. Here's the clip. Hi, if your name is Michaela and you're an Instacart driver or you have a friend named Michaela who is an Instacart driver and- Let's not dox her. Hey, this message, this, this video is for you, okay? Let me, let me, I'm gonna give you some receipts. We'll just start out with the receipts. Michaela, here you are. This is Michaela. You're honestly really pretty, Michaela, and I really hope you're not playing me right now. So you started shopping for my order and you found like literally everything, but most importantly, you found the pack and play, which is the reason we placed this order because we have been on an eight hour road trip with two toddlers and we forgot our pack and play at home. We need somewhere for my one year old to sleep where she will be safe. So we got a pack and play and it says that you checked out, you got the pack and play, no other changes can be made. Then it says that you refunded the pack and play this is the end of the situation right here, or it should be. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if you get a refund, then you should no longer expect the item. I'm not sure why there's further tracking after this part. This should be resolved. And that you were on the way and no other changes could be made. So I immediately messaged you. You told me that the box for the pack and play was too beat up and so you couldn't scan it. I told you that you could ask an employee for help and you're like, look, I can give you the receipts. I didn't steal anything. And I said, I'm not accusing you, okay? Then I get a notification that it's 7.52 you delivered my order and wouldn't you know it we were pulling in our driveway at eight o'clock so we we should have passed each other i pull in my driveway and i notice there's nothing on the driveway there's there's no there's no things here and besides the pack and play all of my order was stuff for my kids goggles for my kids um milk for my kids food for my kids not one thing in there was for an adult now this part of the video is kind of irrelevant because it's more of an emotional plea uh, trying to incentivize her followers to find this person. Although as a parent, I do understand what it's like to be in a bind, but you can't blame the person working for that. And it is incredibly irresponsible to dox somebody online. That is just so messed up. Like, you know what happens when people get doxed, right? They get swatted and crazy stuff like that. Not to mention that this person that's working probably also has a family. Let's maybe take that into account before we rake them over the coals on social media. Every single in there, in thing in there was for my child. A sound machine so that my baby daughter can sleep. Not at my door. So what do you think I do? I immediately call Instacart. They tell me that they got in touch with you and you left it at a black and white building. I said, that's not good enough. I need you to have her come back and point to the house where she left it. I work at Amazon and I know package misdeliveries happen all the time. They're not going to go back and point out where they left it. Especially if they're in a neighborhood they don't know. I mean, how are they going to find that place again? It's a misdelivery, you'll get a refund. So then they transfer me to the missing items people and they tell me that they actually can't get in touch with you. I'm going to venture a guess here and say that they can't get in touch with her because at this point it's a safety concern for her. When it becomes an escalated issue to the point where you feel like you need to make a video, this is the point where customer service or corporate is supposed to step in and take over the transaction. You do not chase an individual contractor for this. So now my beef is not only with Michaela, but it's also with Instacart. Because what do you mean you can't get in touch with her? She's your employee, right? She like, right? You can't get in touch with her. So then they tell me, we'll give you a refund, but you're not going to get this refund for five to seven business. I need to mention here that that processing time for a refund is normal, depending on your bank. It could be faster, but it could also be slower. It depends totally on your bank or payment processor. This isn't something they're doing on purpose to inconvenience you, it's just how it goes, unfortunately. Y'all were on our first day of vacation. So I go into my app, I go to my Instacart app. My whole total order was $130, I can show you. Okay, $138, but why was my car charged $229? And actually, so it says that now, but actually earlier when I went and looked and I wish I'd screenshot it, it was 290. So my bank account is actually $290. So I don't know if she's actually looked at her bank or not yet, but based on the invoice, Normally, an order doesn't charge until it's actually delivered or shipped. She might have seen an initial authorization for $290, but that will fall off, and then the other charge and the refund will then come through. Charged. So we are on our first day of our week-long vacation. We are out $300. 200 or 130 of that spent towards children's items that we now don't have that we have to go buy again and we will not see that money back in our account until we're back home from vacation. So Michaela, you have my address. Could you please come over? Give me my shit back if you took it. Now what she says here, give me your shit back if you took it, 
is more of an accusation than anything. The way that she's fired up makes me think that she's already assumed that this person stole her stuff, which isn't a good conclusion to jump to. Or me and you can go drive to the house where you did drop it off. We can knock knock and I can get my shit because I need my shit. Then you and I together can go to Instacart, get your ass a raise because they definitely were not happy with you on the phone. And then we can stay, take my money back from them. Thank you and goodbye. Please help me find Michaela. Now, Michaela did respond to this, but I'm not going to play that because it really doesn't matter. The core issue here is that an individual influencer decided to take this out on an employee of Instacart by providing her home location, her picture, and her first name, which, like it or not, is doxing her. There are easy ways to find her based on that information. And commenters did find her. And regardless, her profile is now private, of course. I mean, I would do the exact same thing because people are harassing her, not willing to hear her side of the story anyway. So leave this girl alone, please. Putting somebody's information out there online can be dangerous for other people. It can be a life ruiner. Imagine ruining someone's life over something that happened to you on vacation. It's not a good look, and don't do that, please.